Well, this summer I decided to try and add an incubator to my queen raising project. And uh, I bought this Reptipro 6000. And it really works good. I've got, you can either run it on 120 volts or it even comes with a cigarette lighter plug uh, for in your vehicle. And I run it at 93 degrees. And uh, it seems like it's working pretty good for right now anyway. And here I've got a fixture full of queen cells that I got just uh, sticking on a piece of 1x6 just to hold them all together. using the NICOT system once again. So there's eight cells waiting to emerge. And then once they emerge, I move them over to here. Which is the same thing, but it's just uh, helps me keep them the emerge from the uh, yet to be emerged and those just popped out in the last probably 20 minutes and I smeared, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I smeared a drop of honey on the bars of the Nikot cage and you can see their tongues just going going after it, they're uh, really hungry when they come out of the cells And when they do emerge, I actually uh, break off the queen cell from the uh, Nikot holder. Because last year I had some uh, queens that crawled backwards into the cell to try and get some uh, get some food out of the the queen cell. But but now with the uh, raising them in the incubator at home, I can keep a closer eye on that, and uh, hopefully. Make some more queens. I've got, I just got back from making, uh, I stocked my 12 mini mating nukes, or 12 of my mini mating nukes, and that's what I have in the incubator now is 12. So I've got eight more to emerge, and then tomorrow I'll go place them in the mini mating nukes. And there's a commercial beekeeper across the road from where my uh, mini mating nukes are, so should be plenty of drones in the area hopefully they don't come back mean anyway please uh... leave me comments like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind thank you